Hello, and welcome to Book Talk. I'm Sabrina, and I'll be hosting today's Book Talk episode. Today, we have a special reading from the author of Words Unspoken, Tom Lovett. So, without any further ado, here is Tom. I'm Tom Lovett. I'm the author of Words Unspoken, The Science, Experience, and Treatment of Stuttering. And this is a story from my life that opens chapter one of the book. Spring 2004. I'm in my senior year English class. The 20 or so of us are sitting in a circle discussing T.H. White's The Once and Future King. Our teacher leaves a round table about the chapters we've read so far, asking which sections we particular, particularly enjoyed. A few other students raise their hands and answer. I've known most of my classmates for years, and my fluency has been good recently, so I feel comfortable enough to raise my hand too. I say that I really enjoy the concept of Merlin experiencing time backwards while everyone else is moving forwards. All is going fine until our teacher says, Okay, everyone, go to page 73. We're going to take turns reading aloud from... I'm in panic mode before she's even finished the sentence. I may be able to get myself to speak up in class if I'm not having a bad day, but reading aloud almost never goes well. Everyone else will read their section smoothly and fluently. I'll probably stumble and stutter the whole way through. My classmates probably know me well enough to realize that I have a stutter, but these exercises are still incredibly unpleasant. Every block I have will hold up the rest of the class. Everyone will be focusing on me, following every word that I should be able to say fluently. Plus, we're reading from a book, so I won't be able to swap out difficult words for easier ones if I, if I really get stuck. Our teacher continues. We'll start at the third paragraph down with Jake, and then we'll go around the room to the left. I count the number of seats between Jake and me. Then I count the number of paragraphs starting in Jake's section. I make my best guess, and, th and I think I've found what will be my section. My classmates are reading, but I barely even hear them. I'm hyper-focused on my paragraph. I practice by saying all the words in my head fluently, hoping this silent rehearsal will help me when it's my turn to speak. Deep down, however, I know from experience that this probably won't do anything. I still do it, though, because I'm desperate. In the very last sentence of my paragraph, I see the phrase, when he looked closer. God damn it, I think. For my entire life, I've always blocked more in words that start with CL and GL. I can start the motions to produce the CL sound, but my mouth freezes when I actually go to say it. My tongue sticks against, my tongue sticks against the top, my top front teeth, my throat closes up, and, rather unpleasantly, I can't push any air out. I've practiced saying these words at home for hours at a time, but it hasn't helped much. Instead, I'm still stressed and anxious about the word, which I know will make me even more likely to block. The student in front of me nears the end of her paragraph. I'm ready to start speaking the instant she finishes. I don't know why I have this urge, maybe because I associate any bit of silence during my turn with blocking. I hit the ground, reading at 100 miles an hour. I rush through the paragraph as quickly as possible, hoping that if I, if I go fast enough, I won't get stuck. I'm hitting smaller blocks along the way, but I do my best to ignore them and power forward, like a speeding truck bouncing all over a backcountry road. The way I'm reading my section, the once in future king doesn't even sound like a great piece of literature. It's just a blast of words. I get to the sentence with the CL word and make my first tentative attempt. What when he looked when he looked it's happening, just like I expected. I'm squeezing my diaphragm as hard as I can, but no air comes out. The tip of my tongue is hanging up against my front teeth, but I just can't get it to do the next thing, to, to trigger the word closer to come out. I can feel my classmates' discomfort, and it makes me feel guilty. I'm holding everyone up, and it's all because of my stupid freaking stutter. I squeeze and push even harder. I'm leaning forward as if that will help move my speech. Finally, some invisible trigger fires, the catch on my mouth releases, and the word closer shoots out. I wrap off the last sentence and slam on the brakes. My brain is racing a million miles an hour, and my nervous system is still in full fight or flight mode, but at least it's over. I sink down in my chair, feeling exposed and humiliated. I've been reminded that I can't do something so simple that everyone else takes it for granted. I've mostly calmed down by the time the last student, Brad, starts to read. He hates these read-aloud exercises too, but more out of general apathy towards school. 
He recites his section in a dull monotone, like he resents even that little bit of effort. I stare at him and think about the contrast between our experiences. To me, reading aloud in class feels like a life or death struggle. Brad is bored out of his mind. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening, and thank you to Tom for this wonderful reading. Please tune back into Book Talk for more readings and my interview series for the International Dublin Writers' Festival. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now.